Well, the next Quad Cities Honor Flight is set to take off for D.C. this Tuesday. But before that happens, one local community is hosting a fundraiser event. So we are joined by Kathy Nelson, one of the organizers. Kathy, I just really want to make sure we tell people the figures in this because I think it is just so cool. So this is in Bishop Hill, Illinois, a village of less than 120 people. Mm -hmm. And over the last 13 years they've been doing this, because this will be the 14th year, they have raised more than $150,000 for the honor flight of the Quad Cities. Kathy, why is this something that's so important to Bishop Hill? I think Bishop Hill is just a really magical place, generally speaking, and there's a lot of really passionate people who are just really love this this fundraiser and, and really love Honor Flight as an organization. You were talking about kind of the ties between the military and the veteran backgrounds in Bishop Hill. Can you talk about that? Well, more so just Honor Flight, um, generally, like it's there's a lot of people who have fought and served for our country that have never been to our nation's capital. And for them to be able to go and to experience the memorials and the monuments that are erected in their service is, is really, is really just a great a great organization. So one of the ways that you guys help raise money is you have this annual fun annual fundraiser, I should say. This year's yeah. is taking place in Bishop Hill on Sunday from 11 a.m. until 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. What can people expect? They can expect our own bluegrass with the Tab Fruit Wranglers. Um, there's going to be a raffle at 2 p.m. There's going to be lots of great food and it just lots of really good companionship. There's normally a bike parade and it's just a really nice way of getting together to gather over a good cause. I love that. I kind of wanted to talk about you personally for a moment here. You were telling me you grew up coming to Bishop Hill as a kid, visiting. Yes. But was it last year you moved to Bishop Hill from California? We did. I mean, back to just a community of support, I, we really felt passionately about raising our child in Bishop Hill. And so when we had him, we moved, we moved back to the community. What has it been like to be in this community surrounded by people that are so, they're just go-getters and they want to help out not only their community, but the whole broader region? Yeah, I mean, any, any day in Bishop Hill is a great day to spend with friends and family. And I think living there is the same experience. So we've felt a lot of support, really celebrated. We have a bakery there called H. Wyatt, named after our son, Henry Wyatt. And we have Swedish comfort foods, as well as just a design forward modern Scandinavian shop. And there's lots of stores and, well, lots, there's several stores, <laughs> museums and restaurants to go to as well. I love that. Well, I yeah. have to ask, once this fundraiser is over on Sunday, how soon do you guys start planning for next year, for the 15th annual? You know, I think we just kind of celebrate it, and um, and then it just it always just gains its own momentum. It you know it was started as a way, just a good cause to gather, a good reason to gather, and it's just gained speed, and over time has become what it is today. That is so amazing. Yeah. Once again, this is happening at the Bishop Hill in Sunday from 11 to 4. A free wheel donation lunch will be kicking kick things off, followed by live music, a live auction, and a raffle. You can also make a monetary donation. For more information on how to do so, you can head over to our website, wqad.com. Kathy, thank you for being here. Thank you.